Hey, what is going on guys? It is Jago back again with another video and today's video is a special one. This is the 10K subscriber setup special. Um, right now I'm recording it a little earlier so the Q&A will be right after the setup. I thought I would just get the setup out of the way. So for the people that wanted to see the setup, could get the setup. And then for people that wanted to stay for the Q&A, they can see the Q&A and uh, the stuff I got planned and all that sorts of shit. All right, so here's a setup back from a uh Sort of kind of my point of view, I'd be sitting right there though, I'd be pushed up against the desk. I'm also recording this on an iPhone. I don't have a proper camera yet, but that shouldn't really matter. Um, I know you guys want to get to the nitty gritty. Let's go to the computer real quick. But right now, like I said, I'm recording it early. So we're at 9,700 subscribers. You guys are going nuts on the uh, community post I just made with your questions and stuff like that. So I'm really excited to see the questions once we get to the Q&A, which will be later in this video. So. You guys don't have to wait for it, but I do. Here is the computer. Uh, you can just see on the inside, you get a quick little peek right there. Sorry about the wire. Um, I don't have any special sort of colors or anything like that. I'll leave all of the specs of it in the description. A 1063 gigabyte graphics card, an i5 processor, some Cooler Master fans, as you can see, i5. The motherboard is right here. I kept the box because I knew I was never gonna remember what the hell it was called, so here it is right here. The B365M uh, DS3H. So that is the motherboard that I have the i5 on. I also have 16 gigabytes of RAM. And like I said, if I forget anything, which I definitely did off the top of my head, I'll leave everything in the, the, in the description below. So go down there if you, uh, if you care about my PC build. And of course, I'm still upgrading it. Um, the 1060, uh, three gigabyte graphics card I have right now. I definitely want to get upgraded soon because I want to be able to play like big games that are coming out like Cyberpunk 2077 and shit like that once it comes out um, at really, really high settings and make videos for you guys. So just keep that in mind as well. All right, and there's just a lot of other random crap here. This is my Xbox 360 actually. Um, yeah, it's vibing. So uh, you guys will be able to see my Elgato there. Um, that's what I use and it's hooked up to the, it's not hooked up to the 360 right now, but it usually is. It um, doesn't really matter from here on out what's behind my sh uh, my monitors here. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look at the front here. Um, I have a 360 or an Xbox One controller to play games on PC. You know, sometimes I'll do that. Um, this is actually an incredibly old TV that I use. I'm pretty sure it's like a 720p uh, monitor or no not monitor tv that i got like oh god it might have might have been like fourth or fifth grade um yeah there's really no cool story behind it but yeah uh, that's just a really old tv that's at 720p uh the the mouse and the keyboard unfortunately i don't have like the i don't know exactly what it is i'll look up what it is exactly um i bought this originally this computer from a friend it was in very very crappy state it had it was actually in this case down there, um, very, very shit airflow and had a crappy motherboard, crappy uh, processor, crappy graphics card. So, but since then I've been upgrading with, uh, you know, money I've been earning over time um, and stuff like that. I've been upgrading, making better quality videos for you guys and uh, yeah, getting better every day. But yeah, if you, I mean, I want to get a new keyboard. This is like very old. Like I said, I bought it from a friend. So it wasn't as great as I got it when I first got it, but I still like it. It still works. You know, I don't really have a, a complaint about it, but um, yeah, I'll be sure to leave the keyboard or like a keyboard I would want down below in the description. And um, yeah, and the mouse, same with the mouse. I don't know what the fuck it is. This for sure, I know what it is. It is a Yeti, Blue Yeti microphone right here. This is what I use. Studio microphone, very high quality mic for the recording of pretty much all my videos, except for this one right now, because I am filming on an iPhone. And I got some earbuds to um, listen to shit here, you know. And if I can hear my videos through a pair of earbuds or headphones, like people sometimes will watch my videos on, it's a little bit easier to get a sense of how loud things should and shouldn't be. Um, here's my wallet. Uh, you guys can uh, get my debit card information. Can't get the numbers though, bitches. <laughs> this is actually an old wallet. It's like Sean White or something. It's my brother's really old wallet, uh, older brother. So yeah, that's why I have that. Xbox 360 controller back there. Like I said, it's just a bunch of wires and crap back there. You guys don't really need to see. This motherboard can go back down there where it belongs with the kids in the basement this monitor is where i will play uh my playstation 4 right here it's currently on 
And uh, I usually play this for most of my time. I play, obviously, you can play GTA, 2K. I, I have a lot of games that I play with friends, especially. So um, another thing, this is a 4K monitor. So you will be able to see it is an Acer 4K monitor. I believe it's 60 Hertz, but it's also, um, 4k so i don't really know if there's a huge difference on the hertz of a 4k monitor but i'll let you guys know i'll drop it in the link or uh the description of course and uh I'll, I'll let you guys be able to see that of course in the description so here's my playstation 4 pro it's just a random mic or headset i use um not not too expensive or high quality or anything like that there's my scholarship in information for school. I should probably drop my headset and put this somewhere else for now. All right, and yes, I do drink Dream Fuel. It's a uh, it's a healthier alternative to get like caffeine, some energy. So uh, that is what I'll usually drink. I have a Michigan State cup right here. Um, yeah, we got some other Michigan State shit here too as well. Uh, R.I.P. Papa's Pizza. None of you guys know what I'm talking about, but rest in peace, bro. Rest in peace. And uh, this, uh, be I don't even know what this is. This stuffed animal. It's a, it's a Beanie Baby, actually. It's worth absolutely nothing. I don't collect them or anything, but it's just here to vibe. Um, my cat likes to try and kidnap it. His name is Frisbee, I believe. Um, yeah, he's, he's part of the call. He usually takes after um, the basement kids. Uh, I got like nine of them now, so... Yeah, it usually gets pretty packed. This is actually a notebook I have used a little bit in the past to write down uh, video ideas and stuff like that. So that's what most of this stuff is and just write down shit. I don't really use it too often. It's only a few pages in. So yeah, that's that's why uh, I don't really use it anymore. I just write video ideas and shit like down, like I said. And the rest of this is just a bunch of crap electronic stuff in case I need an extra charger or want to use my Apple Watch or something like that. Or if I need a pen or pencil or something like that, it's all in there. So, yeah. That's uh, really it. And like I said before, uh, that light was in my bedroom. I don't know <laughs> really where you could get that from. As well as this light right here. Um, I don't know where it's from either. It's just a lamp. It's just LEDs. It's usually the lighting I'll use for the video and uh, stuff like that. And, oh, and here's my webcam, or my face cam. I'll put that in the link in the description as well. You can pretty much see it's just a regular 1080p Logitech uh, webcam right here. Probably gonna get a new one, hopefully soon, at least by, you know, Christmas time or something like that. Um, yeah, I wanna get a new webcam. This one, it's, it's good quality, but it's not the best quality that I want uh, for my videos and stuff like that. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's my setup. <laughs> Um, I work out here sometimes as well. And uh, yeah, really, the rest of that is just a bunch of shit. So yeah, that was the setup. Hopefully you guys did enjoy that part. Right now you guys will see the Q&A, but uh, this is Pat Jaco signing out. Peace. I'll see you in the Q&A. Hopefully through the power of editing, you'll see it right now. <sighs> Finally. It is time we are finally making this video. But we finally hit 10K, and I cannot thank you guys enough, man. Um, I, I am a little tired because I did I did just get home from work, which uh, I never mentioned that on the channel. I did just start a new job, so uh, yeah, that that's going on. And you guys have seen me from a little bit of a different perspe perspective. I'm knocking over a box fan uh, right now on my floor. Uh, so yeah, um, you guys just saw the setup tour. So now I'm gonna be doing the Q&A portion of the video uh, Today is actually Friday the day we hit 10k that I'm recording this right now We hit it at 10 a.m. In the morning exactly. I took a screenshot and I was super pumped. I was at work at the time. So um, It was a little weird. I couldn't be like let's fucking go man. It, it was a little weird, you know, my boss would have been <laughs> my boss would have been like hey, uh, you okay, you know, he's whatever it doesn't matter though um i'm super super pumped i uh, i never thought we'd get to this you know um but without further ado let's get to the questions i screenshotted a couple on my phone but you guys definitely sent a lot more than i expected we got over 73 comments here on the post and you guys used my most recent video from yesterday all right so let's get right into it um this was some of the first questions asked on the post it was from hp 1710 so what was your most favorite time of creating content um i guess it's just been recently um growing every day is huge huge motivation 
um, especially for me. Um, I'm, I'm pretty self-motivated, -motiv like I do things on my own, like I did this channel for two years and really had no recognition until now. Not that I need recognition or anything, it's just uh, right now is my favorite time of posting content. I've had uh, specific videos, I guess, that I've been more proud of than others. Um, but yeah, I mean, posting content right now, growing every day, hundreds of subs a day, tens of thousands of views a day. Thousands of views on videos is uh, is very, very motivating for me. And, uh, you know, finally getting the recognition I think I deserve. So uh, next, this guy, not a name. He asked multiple questions because he was one of the first guys there when I first posted it on Wednesday. So did you ever think you'd get 10K? Um, for the first two years, uh, or first like year, year and a half, I didn't really think I was ever going to get it. Uh, I kind of just did it and was like, eh, you know, if I don't get, you know, somewhere big on YouTube, you know, it's no big deal. Um, I'm, I wasn't trying too hard. Back in the day, um, I posted 2K videos, 2K19 videos, you know, the basketball game. Some of you guys might not even know that. I'm not exactly sure. But um, what I did, you know, for commentary, I would just go eight minutes just speaking. Sometimes it wouldn't even be related to the video. And it was just like, I'd be halfway through the video like... You know out of breath because i was just speaking for so long or so fast and i'd be like oh big play and then i would just like cough or yawn or clear my throat or something like that uh no not really <laughs> what was the question again did you ever think you'd get 10k but as of recently back in february i hit a thousand after i hit a thousand or after i pretty much knew i was capable of hitting a thousand after i was on track uh december is when i started finally getting the channel to pick up gaining subs every day um like i said gaining subs and growing every single day is huge you know back in the day when you don't gain like at least one sub two subs a day when you go from that like not even gaining a certain amount of subs a week like going weeks without ever gaining a single sub or a new viewer on the channel um it is massive to start gaining five to ten subs a day which i i remember because that was recently that was in december that was only seven months ago man after i hit a thousand um i'm i knew i was gonna hit ten thousand all right what inspired me to do youtube from once again not a name um that's not a name but <laughs> whatever uh, but yeah I, I mean i pretty much do it out of wanting to entertain people and make people laugh that's the answer to the question how long have you been doing youtube um i started this channel specifically about two years ago i was on and off until about november of 2018 that's when i started actually taking it seriously and getting consistent uh, back then i posted like red dead fallout 76 and then i started doing a little bit of 2k i didn't really start doing gta consistently until the december of 2019 yeah i would say about that uh back when i first started like november 2018 like i said um i posted every single day six months straight uh just to prove that at least i could do something I didn't grow almost at all in that time, but I still, um, I still proved myself something that I could do that for six months straight. It wasn't until April where I had like a huge internet or like computer issue that I couldn't post that day. Uh, otherwise, I probably would have. But uh, yeah, um, so I would say for the past two years, like just somewhere around there, I've taken some big breaks uh, for personal reasons, but I've been consistent ever since. Any tips on starting a YouTube channel from? Not even gonna attempt to say your name. I apologize. Um, be consistent and just make stuff that makes you happy. Don't don't chase after the views at first. Uh, back when I first started, I made Red Dead glitch videos, Fallout 76 glitch videos for the longest time for about a year. My most viewed video on the channel was a Fallout 76 uh, glitch or method glitch video. It had 5,700 views and. I look back at that and I was like, why did who, who why would you even watch that? It was so shit. It, the, the video was terrible. <laughs> I don't know. Really, and it only had like 30 likes out of 5,000 views and it had 30 something likes. But then again, that was huge for me. So um, I guess what I'm trying to say is you might know it will do well. Um, try not to do glitch videos or something that you don't enjoy. Um, right now I'm making GTA videos and I've never been happier with making content in my entire life. And, uh, you know, I've done this on and off for about two years. And I did a little bit before that, but you guys will not be able to see that. What is your favorite thing about what you do and why do you like it so much? I guess my favorite thing is to uh, entertain people, make people laugh. I like to watch or watch. I like to read the comments and 
you know, uh, have you guys say, oh, you know, uh, my day was made because of you. So I guess knowing that I'm making someone else's day better, even though um, I've never seen or ever talked to this person my entire life. I've also had people DM me personally on Discord, which will be in the description. Um, of their personal issues and some things going on with their life and actually having to talk about it with them and uh, You know that that means a lot to me. I like to you know have people care for me not not in a super egotistical type of uh, douche tuber way, but like I, I, I like to I like to be able to know that people look up to me and um, I like to know that I entertain people and make people happy. That's that's really all I care about and <laughs> That's that's been my dream since day one What's your social security number from this, uh, smartass GLJ? It is two- Uh, Se Sebastian Punzo asked, How exciting is it for you to be so close to 10k and going to many people as you continuously create your amazing content? Uh, like I said before, I never really thought 10k was possible until I hit 1k. Um, and then, like, you know, back when, last year, it was just last year when I had, like, 300 subscribers, and I wasn't moving at all. I would just do random streams and just post random games. Um, even though, um, it wasn't the most entertaining, I learned a lot, and, um, I don't know what I would do without that year, because I learned a lot about editing, making thumbnails, commentary, <laughs> uh, what people like to see on YouTube, what people don't like to see on YouTube. Apparently, kicking dogs is a bad thing. That's my favorite pastime, for God's sake. So... I learned to cope with that and not kick dogs on YouTube. That was a joke, by the way. That was sarcasm. And um, modding GTA, um, I didn't really expect to do it at first, but after GTA became six and now almost seven years old, it was just like, um, you know what, the game's dead. And quite frankly, I've played the game on PlayStation right, right here. Um, you know, I play, I play PlayStation most of the time, so. Um, I played it legitimately for six, seven years, and I was just like, you know what, I think modding it will be fun, and maybe I can entertain an audience of 10,000 people. I didn't think of that at the time, but <laughs> um, but now it's reality. Any tips on editing when starting off? Uh, like I said, for the first like year and a half of my channel, this channel specifically, um, I, w I, I wasn't great at editing, but I learned something new almost every day that I would put in my videos, so... Back when I made 2K videos and they were really crap quality, at least the editing got better and better every single day. If I were to post GTA when I first started this channel without any idea how to edit, um, it would have completely flopped and I would have been stuck uh, trying to post something else because it's like, when you first start out, you, you want to think that people could find your content really easily, but it is very, very tough to grow uh, with the YouTube algorithm, <laughs> algorithm and all that. When you're at the bottom, you will stay at the bottom for a long time unless you can prove that you're consistent. And um, I had really no problem with that at first. Uh, what I what I pretty much do, my biggest tip is to look up everything. If you don't know how to do something, look it up. You have Google, you have YouTube. You're probably editing on a computer. Look it up and uh, trust me, you take that extra five, 10 minutes to learn it. Um, it'll make your videos a lot better. Every single day, five, 10 minutes every single day, you can make your videos a hell of a lot better, and I've learned a lot over the past couple years in editing, and that was, that's pretty much my biggest tip. Are you going to branch out of the GTA modding content in the near future? Yes! I really want to, because quite frankly, the GTA modding community is uh, can be very scummish. Uh, I've met a lot of scammers. Um, people have tried to scam me many, many times. Uh, people ask for money drops and stuff like that, but then again, it's also kind of the uh, childish GTA community kind of... Uh, you know, common to me asking for shit. Um, but yeah, I really, at one point, my future, you know, on my channel, I want to be able to post a uh, variety content. I don't, when new games like uh, like Cyberpunk and stuff come out, I want to be able to post that and like some other games too. I don't want to stay on GTA or modding forever, especially. Um, I enjoy it right now because it helps make my channel grow and helps me gain an audience. But at one point, you know, like I want to be able to post at least like something new every day. Maybe I could have a couple of repeat days, but I want to be able to post like literally everything but GTA Online modding content, but still entertaining content. So like my Sims 4 video from last week, I think it was now, I think I posted it Saturday or Sunday. Um, it does, it didn't do well. And I know that because people subscribe to my channel for GTA Online modding content. I don't want that. I want people to, uh, you know, 
why or subscribe to my channel because they find me in an entertaining funny person um you know <laughs> that's kind of what i want to be subscribed for but i understand that if you post one thing uh it's not always going to be um very clear like that so um yeah even though sims video didn't do well the people that watched it actually really enjoyed it and it was about i think almost a thousand views it's at now which isn't like some of my gta modding videos but hey i mean having a thousand people watch that video and actually enjoy it and let me know um that's huge because that's what i actually want to start doing more often um me and Zyrene actually have something coming up uh hopefully very soon on a fun game that uh i suggested so hopefully uh we can make that very very soon and it'll be enjoyable which i will make it enjoyable cause... but yeah i i don't want to stay in the gta modding content forever especially considering gta is seven years old seven years old i was just starting middle school when the game came out i'm graduating now i'm gonna be starting college soon which is uh something i uh i'll let you guys know that too i'm gonna be doing that it's gonna be completely online will i probably cheat and do everything uh, cut corners yeah of course i am it's just school favorite food um glizzies how do you know Zyron and how did you guys meet if there is any story to be told uh it was sixth grade it was actually kind of ironic it was around when gta 5 came out um we had the same english class and science class we knew of each other but it was about halfway through the year of sixth grade we we were actually partnered and sat next to each other in science class and we actually at one point were lab partners um i of course had to carry the team because he knows Zyron. he's not the brightest uh steve haynes clip can you pull up this no the steve haynes clip is very long so uh but yeah if you guys know what i'm talking about if you know you know but yeah we pretty much met we knew of each other and we talked we weren't really i wouldn't consider us really friends at first but we then met one random night in an xbox live party because we had a mutual friend and um yeah ever since then we kept talking i remember literally specifically in that party saying Oh, wow, now the next day of school is going to be totally awkward in science class. And it was, but we ended up being really close friends. And he's really been there since the beginning of this YouTube thing. Same as I for him. Um, we started this together, and I'm really glad we did. All right, uh, Hussam Hassan uh, asked uh, quite a bit of questions. He, uh, first of all, congratulated me. I had 10K, so thank you for that. A um, few questions. How old are you? I'm 18. I just said 18 uh, in May. So like uh, almost exactly two months ago. What's your favorite game of all time aside from GTA? I think it'd have to be the Borderlands series. I did post Borderlands uh, back in the day um, when I first started my channel. I enjoyed it, but Borderlands gets very old very quickly. As you guys, some of you guys may or may not know, it's like just farming and Borderlands 3 wasn't exactly as I expected. I still find it to be a great game, but Borderlands 2 is still my favorite. It still holds deeply in my heart because that was one of the best written games. It was so funny. Um, had great humor. Uh, lots of good DLC. Lots of great fun guns. But then again, there was a meta, so it got boring too. So, yeah. Other than, other than GTA, I have to say the Borderlands series. Um, any tips to stay consistent on something you enjoy? Sometimes it's lost because you're not getting the results you're looking for to get quite yet this is from purple one two three four five six seven eight nine one um i totally agree it was super tough um trying to make videos back in the day when i when no one knew me and i only had like a couple hundred subscribers that's why i made glitch videos and i regret making them back in the past because like literally those first hundred subscribers were just people that wanted to subscribe to me for glitch videos and they were never real fans. I guess to stay consistent, just do something you really, really like. I mean, no matter what, um, just just know that uh, you, it'll all be worth it one day. Just know that it'll all be worth it one day, like it is for me right now. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it, it is, it is. Uh, Egyptian Comrade made, made this question uh, two hours ago. Good timing, you know, coming in clutch, buzzer beater. Do you think that everyone should start a YouTube channel, should dive in the modding scene and make videos about it? Uh, no, but um, I wouldn't suggest it unless you're incredibly passionate for it and you, that's what you really want to do. It's also risky on YouTube too because um, people have gotten terminated before and you know we've gotten copyright strikes as well. Um, so yeah, it's kind of, it's a very risky thing especially and it's not something you could do forever. Uh, from Nova, actually an OG sub, I recognize the name, what's up Nova, 
How did you meet Zyron and how to make friends help? All right, so I already explained how I met Zyron. I just realized, I just noticed this last part was different. And how do how to make your friends help? I'm guessing that's what it's trying to say. Um, we just kind of got lucky and decided to become friends back in sixth grade. And then, you know, it's, uh, five years later to start a YouTube channel. I mean, it was completely out of luck. I mean, without him, I probably wouldn't have kept going and he could probably say the same for me. I got really lucky and found a friend that also wanted to do YouTube and entertain thousands, if not hundreds of thousands or millions of people. So I got really lucky. And like I said before, I have lots of other close friends with great bonds that I had throughout high school from playing football or whatever. And I did not tell a single one of them because quite frankly, I wanted to stay focused on it, stay consistent, um, that and not get roasted in the locker room. <laughs> uh, but uh, like I... Uh, it's mostly because I wanted to stay focused and without anyone knowing, I wouldn't have fake subs, you know, like have your friends, have 20, 30 of your friends subscribe to you and then they can like all your videos and only watch two seconds of it because quite frankly, that's exactly what happens. Unless they're 100% supportive of you, please let me know of that friend and I want to be their friend too because that is not possible, quite frankly, that they will watch all your videos all the way through, like it, comment and, you know, give some advice, make videos with you. I want to meet that guy if you got one of those. I want to meet him. Uh, why don't you and Zyrene upload together anymore? Like I said before, we do make videos still sometimes and we still do talk a lot, uh, but, our, but our, um, our schedules are completely mixed up now. He's got a job at McDonald's. I'm working a landscape company. Uh, so yeah, we both got jobs. Soon he'll, no, soon I'll be starting school as well. So yeah, our schedules are really messed up. But during the weekends, we at least try and talk and try and make a video together, but even sometimes that doesn't happen. So hopefully, we actually plan this one out. Hopefully we can make this uh, specific um, special content video or variety content video that we wanted to make. Uh, we, we were planning on it. So hopefully we get to do it very soon. What is your recording and editing tool? This is the question I was trying to look for earlier. Um, I record with OBS and editing wise, I use Sony Vegas. Um, secret you can get both those softwares for free well obs is free but um any big software like photoshop and sony vegas which i'd use both of those in premiere pro is one i've been kind of wanting to transition to but i haven't yet uh, premiere pro sony vegas photoshop all those even though they were incredibly expensive programs you can get them for free no i didn't tell you this okay my lips aren't moving i didn't tell you this okay and of course, obviously, you can look up tutorials online. I was actually planning maybe on um, one day, like either live streaming or making a video on how I edit a video or how I edit a thumbnail because um, I have my own unique way of doing it. I think like everyone does. Um, but yeah, I use Sony Vegas Pro for editing my videos, Photoshop for thumbnails, OBS for recording. OBS is free, of course. And you can look up other videos on how to get the other programs for free. You didn't hear it here. Oh, Jacoon the Raccoon also asks... Do you think you'll ever make any more RP videos as well? Um, yes, I really actually do like 5M and all that RP kind of stuff. Um, it's tough to get in a server though with uh, an actual good admin and uh, you know good servers and shit like that. Cause um, to be honest, I really like it. I think it's one of the coolest things like ever. But um, it's pretty tough. I don't really know any good servers either. Um, and that and it, it's really confusing. I, I've never taken the time to learn it or anything. So. I kind of get in the session and just get kicked or something right away. I've tried so many times to record, uh, you know, 5M videos for you guys, but it ends up getting all uh, screwed up because I don't know what I, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> for the rest of the video, the Q&A is over now. But uh, if you stayed all the way um, throughout the video through the setup and the Q&A, drop a drop a banana down below um, with a monkey or something like that. Um, but yeah, so this is just personal stuff going on with me, and I would want to let you guys know. Um, so first of all, like I said, um, I am working three days a week as of right now for six hours a day. Um, so that's why it's been kind of inconsistent. I've been taking like, uh, I've been going like every other day, sometimes during the week. Uh, this week was actually a lot better though. Um, I had to get that 10K this week, man. I was so excited for it. Um, all these people congratulating. It, it, it was really crazy to think that um, I do this thing with without anyone really knowing i keep this private in my life i don't tell anyone i'm a youtuber even though i, I know i have 10,000 subscribers i i haven't really told anyone any of my friends or anything like that personally 
Um, if I were though, I think what I want to do, uh, I would tell them all once, either record their live reaction or something like that, because um, I understand that it's hard to start YouTube by yourself, and that's why like people get their friends to help them do it. Now that you know, and I think it's a lot more fun if you guys can start YouTube, do it with something, someone else, and like. Why I like this so much, man, is because, first of all, I have, uh, you know, a friend I'm doing it with. I wish I had more. Um, I always, always, always wish I had, like, a full group, like, um, five, six, seven, eight people. I think that would be ideal uh, for the kind of content I want to make in the future, but I still really like where I'm at now. But, uh, yeah, thanks again, guys, for 10,000 subscribers. But, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, the 10,000 subscriber special. I've been thinking about doing this video for a very, very long time. Very long time. Or just any Q&A, really, in general. But I'm finally doing it today. And it feels surreal. It feels nuts. But, yeah. It's, it's really insane. And I couldn't have done without you guys. You guys helped me. Motivated me through it. Growing every day is huge on the, on the platform of YouTube. And you guys have actually really helped me make that possible. And you guys have made that possible as well. So, I thank you guys once again for 10,000 subscribers. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. 100,000 up next. See ya. Sorry for your loss. Look at what I